Hey, what is up? This is me, the ITK HQ, and today we'll be taking a look at iOS 10 Beta 1. So, I'll not be taking a, uh, a look at all the major features, we'll be taking a look at some hidden features and some of my favorite iOS 10 features. So, the very first which we'll be talking about is going to be the whole new widget section on the lock screen. So, if you just swipe to the right, you will get these widgets that you will otherwise find in your notification center. So, these are all the same widgets now over here. And you can also access your camera directly from the lock screen as well. Also, you get that lock icon on the top. Remember that from iOS 6? And in order to unlock your device, all you have to do is actually press your home button if you're using Touch ID, that is, and there we go. Next, we have different contextual menus. So now you get uh, favorites as well with, you know, with pictures and with the picture of the contacts. So you can also get all your latest events as well. You also get memories as well from photos as well over here and you can even add these widgets to that widget section as well directly from that 3d contextual menu next you can actually delete ios stock apps now this is something i've been waiting for a long time so now you can delete music app compass tips what have you and you can save a bit of storage for yourself so now you can actually install these applications uh, independently or individually from the App Store as well. So if you want something, you can get it back. Next, we have the whole new control center. So the control center function-wise remains the same. Basically, it is now separated into two bits now. So we have the uh, music sort of page and then we have just the settings. And in the music page, you can actually select any Bluetooth headset that you have connected with your iPhone. And that's about it. So it's a lot colorful, looks pretty beautiful, and otherwise it's exactly the same as before. Now other than that, now we have a whole new message app, which looks brilliant. Now you actually get three different choices now. So you can either send a text message or you have these apps, and uh, these apps are actually pretty great. So over here, we just have four of them right now, but you can send music from Apple Music, you can even send pictures and videos from, you know, just search it from your keyboard, and then we have these this classic Mac so I can send you know a picture for classic Macintosh music icon and what have you and then I can just send it I can even share music from the Apple music I don't use Apple music so therefore I can't really do anything with it for now and also you have uh, exactly the same thing that you used to find on the Apple watch which is that now you can actually sort of write something down and send it as well so I just wrote H it's gone and there we go I just wrote H. That's it. Um, it's good. You can even actually press and hold and it's going to give you that pressure thingy as well. So it's pretty fun. And so basically Apple has just sort of made an um, iMessage a lot like Snapchat actually. Now the other features now, the next feature is that now you can actually interact with your notifications as well. So just 3D touch notifications and you can do different things from there as well. It also works on the lock screen as well which is great. Also, we have a whole new folder effect as well. So the folder, so the background becomes blurry and the whole animation is a lot more smoother and slower as well. All right, so the next uh, is the photos. Now, photos has changed and it's not my favorite feature basically, but now basically you can, um, you know, the phone sort of, the, the app sort of scans all the photos and it's sort of going to separate, divide all the photos along with, with you know, with regards to the faces of the people that are in the photo and then you get this memory tab as well now the memory basically what it does is it sort of combines all the photos and videos and sort of makes a very brilliant little video that you can share and this is a very simple hidden feature and this is also going to be the last feature we'll talk about right now and that is that whenever you get that backlink on the top you actually also get to see the 3g or your wi-fi signals as well as your cellular signals as well and then you get that twitter icon or that app name on the top 